Hello students. In this video, we'll be revising the chapter number 5, Major Domains of the Earth from your geography book. We all know that the Earth is the only planet to have life on it. Therefore, the surface of the Earth is a complex zone. So it can be divided into three main portions that are lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere. And the narrow zone where we find land, water and air together is known as the biosphere. The lithosphere. The solid portion of the earth is called the lithosphere. It comprises the rocks of the earth's crust and the thin layers of soil that contain nutrient elements which sustain organisms. There are two major divisions of the earth's surface the continents and the ocean basins. Continents. The huge land masses on the earth are called continents. There are seven continents and all of them are separated by large water bodies. Asia is the largest continent. Europe, on the other hand, is smaller than Asia and is bound by water bodies on all three sides. Africa, the second largest continent, lies mostly in the northern hemisphere. South America's major portion lies in the southern hemisphere and is surrounded by two oceans that are the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. North America and South America are connected to each other by Isthmus of Panama. An Isthmus is a narrow strip of land which joins two land masses. Australia is the smallest continent. Since Australia is surrounded by water on all its sides, it is called the island continent. Antarctica is a huge continent and is present in the southern polar region. In fact, the South Pole lies at the center of this continent. Moving on to hydrosphere. The Earth is called the blue planet and more than 71% of the Earth is covered with water. Hydrosphere consists of water in all its form. More than 97% of the Earth's water is found in the oceans and is too salty for the human use. A large portion of the rest of the water is in the form of ice sheets and glaciers or under the ground. A very small percentage of water is available as fresh water for human use. The oceans. The huge water bodies on earth are called ocean basins. All the oceans all around the world are connected to each other. Due to this, the level of sea water is the same everywhere. The elevation of land is measured from the sea level and the sea level is always taken as zero. The waves, tides and ocean currents are the three main movements of the ocean water. There are five major oceans. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean. It is almost circular in shape. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean which is S-shaped. The Indian Ocean is the only ocean to be named after a country. This ocean is almost triangular in shape. The Southern Ocean encircles Antarctica. It extends northwards up to 60 degrees south latitude. The Arctic Ocean is the ocean within the Arctic Circle. It surrounds the North Pole. The Atmosphere the Earth is surrounded by a layer of gas called the atmosphere. It provides us with the air we breathe and protects us from the harmful effects of the sun rays. The atmosphere is divided into five layers based on composition, temperature and other properties. It is composed of many gases, water vapor and dust particles. The layers starting from the Earth's surface are called troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. The atmosphere is composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen, which make up about 99% of the clean, dry air. Nitrogen is 78%, while oxygen is 21%. And the other gases like carbon dioxide, argon, and others compose 1% by volume. Oxygen is the breath of life while nitrogen helps in the growth of living organisms. Though present in a minute amount is important as it absorbs heat radiated by the earth. The density of atmosphere varies with height. It is maximum at sea level and decreases rapidly as we go up. The temperature also decreases as we go upwards. The atmosphere exerts pressure on the earth. 
the air moves from high pressure to low pressure areas. The biosphere, which is also known as the domain of life. Biosphere is a narrow zone of contact between the land, water and air. It is in this zone that life that is unique to this planet exists. There are several species of organisms that vary in size from microbes and bacteria to huge mammals. All the living organisms including the humans are linked to each other and to the biosphere for, the, for their survival. The organisms in the biosphere are broadly divided into the planet kingdom and the animal kingdom. The three main domains of the earth interact with each other and affect each other in some way or the other. The carbon dioxide is an important constituent of air, but increase in the amount of CO2 leads to increase in the global temperatures. This global increase in global temperatures is known as global warming. For example, Cutting of forests for fulfilling our needs of wood or clearing land for agriculture may lead to fast removal of soil from the slopes. Similarly, Earth's surface may be changed due to the natural calamities like earthquakes. The discharge of waste material into lakes and rivers makes the water unsuitable for human use. It also damages other forms of life. The emissions from industries, thermal power plants and vehicles pollute the air. With this, we complete the revision of your chapter.